Queers were expressed on the new legislation in Parliament as well. The question was presented as per the standing orders before noon yesterday. When the question was presented, we were informed that the government has gazetted the online safety bill. Did this happen because I posed the question? I am not sure about that. However, it is not something usual. Why is the government focused on regulating the online methods? In recent times, there has been dissent and it was expressed online. And I wish to know if the government is preparing the legal framework to prohibit such dissent. Did the cabinet grant approval to present this bill citing online safety and to regulate social media? Did the government seek any consultation on this via a concept paper? Was the Human Rights Commission consulted? Were local broadcasters consulted in this? When is the government planning to present this bill to parliament? Did the government consult the social media service providers on this matter? And what response was given? We believe this is an attempt to regulate social media. Therefore, we urge the government to withdraw this attempt to regulate social media. The opposition leaders raised the question over this gazette. The cabinet granted approval weeks ago. Thereafter, it was sent to the legal draftsman and then to the attorney general and then to the government printer. Thereafter, it comes back to the legal draftsman for corrections. The process took place weeks ago and yesterday we informed the government printer to print the gazette. I will respond to all other questions later. This is, this is completely archaic piece of legislation. Right? It is draconian. It violates the basic principles and it certainly is an overreach, Honorable Minister. You have to get up and stop this. Well, violates the basic principles of freedom of uh, thought and speech. You are saying in this uh, draft legislation that you will set up a commission and the president will appoint commission members of whom he will select a chairman and that commission will determine what is the truth and what is not the truth. Who are you to say what is the truth and what is not the truth? When you all were mismanaging the economy, Honorable Sir, on this side we got up and told you multiple times, don't tell us lies. But you told us lies. Niwat Kabra standing there said, we have 2 billion, 3 billion in reserves. Subsequently we were told that's a damn lie. We only have 30 million in reserves. Not billion, million. Right? And then our country went bankrupt. Now you say, there is this commission that will determine what is the truth, what is false. That is not possible. Bringing in this type of draconian laws, what will happen is that technology companies who provide services for people to communicate are being criminalized. You are going to try and put them in jail. You think Google, Facebook, TikTok, uh, Instagram will accept these things. You think a government in some bankrupt country with an authoritarian regime can dictate terms to the largest technology company in the world, Meta and all that. You think they will buy it? What they will do is they will leave. They will leave Sri Lanka.